good morning, Blue West Inns and Stoppage. Friday, January 22nd. I'm your host, Boston, and now on to the weather. Hi, and welcome to weather. For today, we have a high of 44 and a low of 24. Today, looking at the weekend, we will have highs in the upper 40s and lows in the upper 30s. Temperature for next week with highs in the upper to mid 40s and lows in the upper 20s with hints of precipitation. And that's all for your weather. Hi, and welcome to local news. Remind your students to wear their Bulldog shirts on Fridays to celebrate Bulldog Pride. Monday, January 25th is the first day of middle school volleyball practice in the middle school gym. You must have turned in a physical in today to Ms. Whittle or the office in order to practice. Progress reports come out Monday. Starting now and until further notice, if you are attending basketball games and sitting in the student section, you will need to be masked. Once you pay and enter the gym, you need to remain inside the building in the student section. Arctic Dog Training, Monday through Thursday at school at 3.45. This is our breakfast for, Jan for January 25th. Donuts, cereal with muffin, square, square, sides, chilled fruit, fruit juice, and milk. This is our one lunch for January 25th. Chicken patty on a bun, potato wedges, cold options, ham and cheese roll up, tacos, and a taco salad. Hi, and welcome to birthdays. Today we have two local birthdays. High school science teacher Bethany Manor and kindergartner Ava Rose Garcia. And one famous birthday, 1998 Salento, American rapper known for Watch Me, born in Atlanta, Georgia. And that's all for your birthdays. Hi, and welcome to sports. Congratulations to the Lady Bulldogs on their win last night against the Fairgrove Lady Eagles. The boys will play Caswell Wildcats in the second round of the Spokane Tournament at 6 o'clock tonight. If they win, they will play Saturday at 3. If they lose, they will play at 1.30. All of these games will be broadcasted on our YouTube channel. Looking ahead to next week, both the boys and girls will begin the week on the road. They will be traveling to Purdy to take on the Eagles. The girls travel to Purdy on Monday with a start time of 6 o'clock. The boys will be traveling to Purdy on Tuesday also with a start time of 6 o'clock. The boys and girls will take on the Pirates from Crane at the end of the week at home. The girls will play at, the home, at home on Thursday at 6 o'clock and the boys will play at home on Friday. These games will be broadcast on our li on live on our YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. And that is all for sports. The ping pong ball will float above the air dryer when it reaches a point of balance where the air pushing the ball up and the force of gravity pushing the ball down are equal. The ping pong ball will remain in the air column because it is a system of low pressure while the outside of the air column is a system of high pre a system of high pressure holding the ping pong ball in place even when you turn the air dryer sideways because the high pressure from the air around the column of air being left from the air dryer is holding the ball in place Pretty neat, am I right? Hi and welcome to National Day. Today is National Blonde Brownie Day. Almost everyone knows that blonde brownies are similar to chocolate brownies. In place of cocoa, bakers use brown sugar when baking it to make this satisfying taste. Thank you and that's all for your National Day. all the news we have for you today. Have a good weekend and don't forget we're not just the news, we're the news to see. The random fact is cats have fewer toes on their back paws. Like most four-legged mammals, they have five toes on the front, but their back paws only have four toes. Scientists think that the four-toe back paws might help them run faster. And that's all for your random fact.